Hi there, I'm Riley. I'm a holistic nutritionist, gut brain expert, and personal trainer. You're probably here because you've heard something about the vagus nerve, how amazing it is, or maybe you want to incorporate it into your therapies, and I totally support that 100%. So the vagus nerve is one of the most important nerves, and luckily it's getting more tension these days with the gut-brain pathway. So it's the longest cranial nerve and extends all the way from the brain stem through the heart, through the lungs, spleen, and all the way to the gut. So it is super important in gut function, uh, anxiety, depression, balance, so many other things. It is so amazing and I'm so glad it's getting more attention. So today I'm gonna take you through four different therapies that help stimulate your vagus nerve and tone your vagus nerve. So number one, we have humming, singing, and chanting. So this is very self-explanatory. You don't have to make it super difficult. Anything to just stimulate the throat, any kind of humming like, hmm, you know, as long as you can do that, even singing, chanting, whatever method you prefer, anything to just get your voice vibrating really helps stimulate that vagus nerve. Number two, stimulating your gag reflex. Now, that doesn't sound fun, and actually it isn't fun at all, but it is very important in establishing the connection of the vagus nerve and the gut. So in people with vagus nerve dysfunction, there can be a potential loss of gag reflex. So this is something that's really important, really involved in the vagus nerve. So every time you brush your teeth, just stimulate your vagus nerve by gagging <laughs> two or three times. I know it doesn't sound very fun. Uh, every time you brush your teeth, try to do that at least two or three times. I remember when I was first starting this, I barely had any gag reflex response, so I know my vagus nerve needed some toning. So depending how you feel, this one could be actually very beneficial for you. And then there's also a eye exercise. So that one is very simple. All you do is take your hands behind your head, right under the nape of the neck. And normally you do this lying down, but you can also do it seated upward. All you do is keep your head straight while your eyes go to one direction. And you do the same thing on the other side, keeping that head straight. And mine doesn't stay as straight very well because I have a neuromuscular disorder. But that's another story. So you want to try to hold that pose and with that look in one direction for at least 30 to 60 seconds or until you start feeling a yawning response or tearing of the eyes. Now that signifies that you've stimulated your vagus nerve and you can stop and then go to the other side. Okay, and then the last one, gargling. This is something you can also do with stimulating that gag reflex. Gargling, I hated it at first too, but I'm getting better at it. So it gets easier over time. All you wanna do is just gargle with water, having the water sit in the back of your throat. I'm pretty sure you might know how to gargle. So two to three times a day if you can for two to three minutes. Um, I know that's a long time, but that's something to work up to. Just start small and then go from there. So I like to do these exercises every day if I can. And then if you're first starting, try to get these done at least two or three times each. Okay, so I hope that helps. I hope you start healing that vagus nerve and helping your digestive support and your anxiety and depression. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.